What's up guys, it's Matt with the YouTube channel Bleepin' Jeep. A while back, I was watching a YouTube video and I saw a guy that claimed to have invented a device that could dim your LED light bar. So I decided, what the heck? That sounds really cool, let's give it a try. I ordered two of them and this came in the mail. I opened it up and it looked like this. So, today we're gonna put it to the test. So I'm not ready just yet to install any lights on the crawler. So to test it, I've got this 50 inch curved LED light bar from Rough Country. I've got some alligator clips, some fuses, a switch, and to power everything, I've got a battery charger that we're gonna use for power. I've got the device and the instructions that come with it. So here's the device. It's basically a circuit board and a switch. And it's pretty neatly packaged. It's got, um, some wrap around it, like some uh, heat shrink wrap. And it's got a little sticky thing on the back where you can put a zip tie through. And then a, a push button switch that also has a rotator on it. So I was talking to this guy through the email a little bit. He said it's not guaranteed to work, especially on the larger light bars. So that's why I figured I'd try it out on this large 50 inch light bar just to give it a test. So let me tell you why I think this would be cool. A lot of the times on the trail, our biggest problem is that uh, the light bars are just way too bright. You'll have, you know, 10 guys in the woods following each other and the guy in front can't see because the guy behind him is just blinding him with his light bar and there's only one setting, on or off. So if you can dim your light bar, how cool would that be? And if this works, I think that would be really neat because even the light bar industry hasn't figured out how to do this. So I was talking to him a little bit about how it worked and I, I'm not really absolutely sure but what I gather is that what this does is it flashes the lights so fast that you can't see it with the naked eye but it flashes it so fast that uh, that actually dims the light. So this also not only does it have a dimmer feature but it also you can push the button and then you can start flashing the lights like a strobe light so let's hook it up see how it works so i'm just going to follow the instructions here it's pretty clear as to how it works i just need to hook these three wires up there's three wires coming off of this device a uh, green black and a red so the red wire goes to a switch which goes to a fused power source so let's hook that up red to my switch and then I'm going to hook that up to a fuse normally your power source like if you went to the ignition hot it would already be fused but since we don't have that I'm going to add that in here fused and then we're going to go to power okay so the green coming out of control module goes to the negative on the light bar so let's go green to negative on the light bar which is going to be right here the black coming out of the control module goes to the negative on the battery. So that goes over here and the positive of the light bar goes to the positive of the battery with a fuse in between. So I need to connect right here. This is going to be to the positive but I need to put a fuse in the middle so I'm going to just attach that here this here, we'll lay that down somewhere, try not to get these touching, and we're going to go to positive over here. Okay, got it. So that seems complicated, but really, once it's installed in the vehicle, it won't be so messy. But I've got a switch that should turn it on and off, 
and then this switch should dim it. Let's give it a shot. Let's power up. All right, so I'll plug the battery charger in and let's turn on the switch, see what happens, the main switch. Okay, nothing happened. Let's give this a shot. I got nothing. Okay, let's try this. The light bar doesn't tell me which one is positive or negative here since I'm just tapping into this connector. So let's go and try and switch those, see if that makes a difference. Okay, powering back up. And let's turn on the switch. Oh, that was the problem. Okay, so I just had the positive and negative switched on the light bar itself. All right, here comes the real test. Let's see if it dims. Check that out, it does. That's fully bright. Starts to dim, dim, dim. You can dim that all the way down. Now let's press it and see what happens. Whoa! Whoa, watch out. That's really cool. I can make it strobe really slow or really fast. That's awesome. You might give somebody some uh, Tourette syndrome or something going on there. Press it again. It's off. And I can start to dim it up. That's really cool. I can't wait to get this on the Jeep. The only thing I'm noticing is that when you dim it, the light bar starts to make a noise. I don't know if that's uh, the flashing or what's happening there. But it works. Okay, so when you saw that dimming, you might have noticed that it was flashing on your computer screen. That really wasn't flashing to my eyes in real life, and the reason is the frame rate. It's kind of complicated to understand, but just, just realize that in, in real life, it does have a little bit of a flicker, but it's not, um, it's not as much as you can see on your computer screen. But overall, I am super happy with that. I can't wait to get it on and installed because who else has the power to dim their light bar? It'll be like very rare, but hopefully everybody else will get one because I'm tired of uh, people shining them in the back of me. Actually, it doesn't really bother me that much, but some people get really pissed off when you have your light bars and you're right up behind them on their bumper. So I think that'll be a really cool tool to have. And I'm gonna leave the link of where you can find this below and the guy's email, so if you are interested, just uh, give him a shout. I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you next time. Make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.